Recently, I had the privilege of interviewing Paul Washer at the G3 conference, the Southeast finest conference, bar none, if you can get there next year. Magnificent. And I was going to be chatting with him about ecclesiology, about the church. But before we could get started, his cell phone rang. Right. Oh, that's, oh, that's my wife. Take that. You got to take that. Hello? <laughs> Uh, I'm being interviewed right now by Todd Friel on live, so don't say anything that would embarrass you. Yeah, okay. You want to call me later? Is the baby okay? Okay. Okay. Yes. Evan? He's not here. I don't know where he is. I, I didn't lose him. This is the first time. Oh, your son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll find him. It's Atlanta. It's not that big. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. So now we all I'm, get to I'm go home and now. say. I'm dead now. I'm dead now. Just hanging out with Paul Washer and his wife. Yeah. A little chat. All right. How old is your baby? Ten months. Just call me Abraham. Who? <laughs> no, I. You know can't. what? Don't tell your wife that because that makes her Sarah. No, actually, she's only like twenty-eight. Your your yeah, wife? I'm kidding. <laughs> she looks like she's twenty-eight. I didn't quite know how to what face to put on for that. <laughs> okay. No, I came back from preaching every two months. I go and preach to the Chinese and. Uh, usually about 14 sermons in three days. So oh, I came back, wow. I was really tired, and I was laying on the bed. And she came in, I said, I feel like I'm going to die. I'm so tired. And she said, old man, you better live forever. I thought, that was strange. And she threw that little stick on me. <laughs> and I said, you have got to be kidding me. Oh, that's how it happened. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And then she lied to me. Um, so a few months later, when she went to get the ultrasound, see if it's a boy or girl, she came in and she said, you really, you just need to sit down. And I thought, is the baby okay? She goes, perfect health, don't worry. And I said, what? Because you know how your, your father was a twin. I said, yeah, he goes, it's triplets, Paul, it's triplets. <laughs> and I leaned against the wall and I started praying. I said, Lord, you know, you know you're in control of all this. And she just busts out laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so then I prayed for her soul. <laughs> Let's hope he actually gave us permission to use that outtake. Wouldn't it be funny if he sued us? You can be conservative, Christian. You can be earnest, but you don't have to be a wet blanket. I'm no George Barna, but I do play him on TV right now. My personal poll of conservative Christians, the statistics are more are a little bit on the meh side than on the joyful side, and that ought not to be. In fact, I would suggest to you, the more conservative you are, the more you should have joy and laugh. Now, it won't be bawdy. It won't be inappropriate or blue in any way but you will find joy and laughter and enjoyment in the things that God has provided for us, the more conservative you are. So I got a question for you. Uh, if and you're a conservative Christian, how would people describe you when you're not around? Would they say that you're fun? I'm not talking about frivolous. Would they say that you're enjoyable? I'm not talking about being Mary Andrewish. How would they describe you? Would it ever include things like content, happy, joy-filled, different than so many people, not affected by all of the waves and the winds of adversity of life? That guy, that gal is different. How would they describe you. Oh boy, the reviews are in for my brand new book, Reset for Parents, How to Keep Your Kid from Backsliding. I bought Reset for Parents and have ordered six more copies since. 
It's like sowing a seed to give to others. I finished reading it today and it is wunderbar, a very good resource for those of us that need a reminder of how and why to disciple our children. A must read exclamation point exclamation point thank you mr and mrs collins to get to your copy of reset for parents how to keep your kid from backsliding you can buy it at wretched.tv slash reset or join the club become a monthly supporter and you get the book for free now that's an offer you can't beat with a stick wretched.tv slash reset